This short video demos a new capability of Android in the cloud. The Android GL Surface View uses a dedicated surface for displaying OpenGL rendering. This allows apps to render windows of OpenGL graphics from the Java language. This is a standard Android capability that can be run from unmodified apps. Android in the Cloud enables remote surface composition that is functionally equivalent to the standard local surface flinger. The Android surfaces are rendered remotely on the remote host and composed on the remote client using Android's window manager status. This schematic diagram illustrates how four different graphic surfaces are composed to display the standard Android system launcher, which appears immediately after booting the Android device. The first surface is the system wallpaper, an opaque graphical image covering the device screen. The second surface is the Android status bar, which contains notification and system icons. The third surface is the Android navigation bar, which houses the device navigation controls, back, home, and overview. The fourth surface is the launcher, the part of the Android user interface that lets users customize the home screen, launch apps, and perform other tasks on Android devices. This surface is non-opaque, resulting in wallpaper peeking through in transparent areas of the surface. We added multi-threading support for Android in the cloud. This allows multiple independent OpenGL rendering contexts to be supported in one Android app. OpenGL has no explicit graphics contexts. Different OpenGL contexts implicitly run in different Linux OS threads. A GL Surface View allows apps to support multiple independent OpenGL surfaces from different Linux OS threads. A GL Surface View provides the following features. Manages a surface, which is a special piece of memory that can be composited into the Android View system. Manages an EGL display, which enables OpenGL to render into a surface. Accepts a user-provided renderer object that does the actual rendering. Renders on a dedicated thread to decouple rendering performance from the UI thread. Supports both on-demand and continuous rendering. Okay, the next thing we're doing is we're going into and we're opening up a lightweight uh, viewer of remote graphics. Here the graphics are in New York City and the viewer is in Tel Aviv, 9,000 kilometers away, about 130 millisecond uh, round trip. Okay, now we're logging into the the Cavium system. We're logging in super user, and the next thing we'll do is we'll start a container, a Android instance in the container. Okay, so now we'll start it. RA start. We'll start the first container. RA start one. And then we'll attach it to the container so we can see a console and see what's happening. Okay. In a few seconds, the system will come up. As we see, it's a uh, lollipop system running in uh, a <clears throat> server, and the graphics are being run locally on the Linux machine. Okay, so we saw the stopwatch. You can see the calculator. What we want to do in this demo is to demo the graphic view. So we take a standard application for uh, learning OpenGL, and we can click on any of the eight lessons, and each one of them shows um, some aspect of OpenGL. Here we see rotating boxes with lighting. Here we see semi-transparent rotating boxes that can be blended. So when I click, it changes the lighting model. Okay, so let's go to uh, something which maybe looks a little bit better. We'll take a box and we can see with the mouse we can move the object. The object is completely rendered locally. The next thing we'll do is a uh, cube demo. We see that we can very, very smoothly, even though the, it's 9,000 kilometers away, it follows the mouse, mouse, mouse quite nicely. 
Now we'll increase the cube count. We're going to increase it to 16 by 16 by 16, which is uh, 4K uh, boxes, cubes. Once we do, do that, we can take the mouse and rot rotate all 4,000 of them smoothly. And this is done, the graphics are not uh, exported, the graphics are done locally, only the graphic commands are sent across. So this is a impressive demonstration. Let's see what the ping is. This is from uh, Ascender to Nitka. It's about 130 milliseconds. So it's that's about uh, <clears throat> a little bit more than an eighth of a, a second. You can you know, see different uh, demos. They all work quite smoothly. We can do it with the mouse, even though it's, uh, as again, 9,000 kilometers, it runs very smoothly. All right, we can use the menus, so we have a, a GUI aspect and we have a rendering aspect. We'll see how these two aspects are uh, contained in, in, in one program. So uh, we're going back to the cube now. We see the cube goes very smoothly. We can change the uh, vector models from vector uh, buffer objects to non with the, with the stride or without a stride. The software supports the standard models of OpenGL. But now we're powering off the system and we will then close down the viewer. Now we want to see how this is rendered, how it's composed, the composition. So we here we have five buffers. We see on the left the buffers that uh, contain the graphical objects, in this case the cubes. Then the buffer beneath it is the GUI aspect of it. It has the uh, the header and it has buttons that you could be pressed. Then we have the top button, which is the status buffer. The bottom is the navigation. And then we see pink, which we made to be the wallpaper here. So here we see that we are actually rendering remotely five different surfaces that are all uh, composed together to create one view.